hey guys welcome to my channel my name is nathina if you're new then you know stick around but if you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer click the subscribe button click it. it's free i think just with the postpartum losing my son the miscarriage and everything for the last like seven years or so it kind of made me retreat into myself and get stuck in my head and so now i have so many thoughts racing constantly that it's actually kind of hard to just do like i think more than i do right and so at some point i figured you know it's time for me to meet myself where i am and where i am right now is in my head <laughs> So let's get into my head. I've struggled with consistency on YouTube. I know somebody's probably like, duh, bitch. <laughs> like, we've been here since the beginning. We know. Um, and with, you know, what I wanted to do on YouTube and all of that. And the kind of, the idea that I kind of had and what was kind of solidified for me a couple days ago was that I believe I have... Uh, resentment for where i am now versus where i thought i would or i think i should be and i'm at a place where i have realized that and i want to give myself permission to accept where i am not be content with it because you know there's a difference between the contentment and giving yourself permission to say okay this is where we are this has changed my life was so you know so hold on you always hear this thing where they say uh you tell god what what things are supposed to be and you know it's a joke right <laughs> so what i thought was going to happen you know definitely no kids by the time i was like a teenager i had decided that that was not the life i wanted and that i was going to i don't know go model and have like a little dog and just live overseas alone and just you know the total opposite and so then i did end up having a kid and so that changed some things and i was like well i'm going to go into the medical field i'm going to be an anesthesiologist right and so then life got hard and I was faced with having to come to terms that I was going to lose my mom. And then eventually I did. And the first year of school was hard, <laughs> very hard. And so then I dialed it back again and I said, okay, maybe not doctor, let's go into nursing. Then that next year, the reason why I had said nursing was because my grandma was in the nursing field and right after that year after I lost my mom I also lost my grandma and I was like okay I just can't catch a break so quite naturally it although I wasn't displaying it you know fully in tears and everything as an Aquarius it's hard for me to express my emotions or I'm getting better with that but it was it was um apparent on the outside I was struggling in school you know I just didn't have the focus and I didn't understand what was going on because well clearly I am black and we don't get depression and we don't have anxiety and you know I'm a woman so you just you have to keep going and I'm a mom so you don't have a choice and it's kind of like just shut up and and get through it so I was shutting up and I was getting through it but um it was not panning out the way I felt as it should and instead of accepting the detour to get to whatever the final destination is I kind of just kept trying to beat at that wall right and so once it came time for me to you know start my YouTube and stuff like that because this is a place that allows me to express you know any and everything that I am interested in is not what the plan was, right? And um, that mixed with other sadness and regret and things like that, 
I don't think I ever went. I don't think I ever allowed myself to fully jump in to the career change, you know, because that's that's kind of what it is. It, it would be a career change. And I think there's a lot of resentment because you have, you know, expectations of yourself and expectations of others or, you know, that others place on you. And you're just kind of like, well, I don't really care about letting them down. But as far as myself goes, am I letting myself down? Because you know, this looks nothing like what I had envisioned for myself. And um, I remember I was, before I had my daughter, I had just moved to Atlanta. And I was doing hair. Mind you, I have a degree in chemistry. And uh, this, this guy, I kind of fancied or whatever. He was just kind of like, you know, you're so smart, you should be doing more. And it's kind of like, yeah, I am really smart. I should be doing more, you know, but I don't want to do that. And and now that I'm older, I know that I would have been great in the health prof- the health field. I could probably still get into the health field and be, be great at that. My, but my life is not set up for that anymore. You know, I fully mom, <laughs> you know, I love this profession. To the point where I don't want to miss anything and I don't want a job that is going to take me away from this job I want to be fully available to my children for as long as I possibly can and I know that part of that is probably parenting out of trauma I should probably do a video on that too but you know um, I know what it's like to to lose your mother and I also know what it's like to lose your child and I know that time is just of the essence (laughs) as they say and so I don't I don't know what career would allow me to make the money I want to make and you know go make be able to make all the doctor's appointments do the travel all-star teams and breastfeed for as long as I want and you know just all of that so I keep coming back to YouTube but then I keep disappearing whether that is the undisclosed resentment that I feel or just me you know feeling sad I'll be going through it I'll be stuck in my head um and which is why I'm starting to understand I have to meet myself where I am and uh give myself permission to accept the change and embrace the change and you know, love it without feeling like I'm failing, (laughs) you know, um, you just not, you just can't make everyone happy, right, you can't, and, uh, hearing your one living parent ask you, like, when can I say I'm proud of you, even after, you know, I've, I've beat all the odds, I was a young girl who grew up in South Baltimore. My mom was on drugs. I had a kid early. Um, You know, I I lost a parent. I, you know, I I have my college degree. You know, I've I've beat so many odds. And it's just kind of like, what more is there to be proud of? What am I missing? You know, so now it's about me. Me being happy, right? I guess what I'm trying to say is at some point you have to just say, okay, I'm here. And stop resisting and let the water carry you to where it may, right? Um, Let the water carry you to overflow. Stop resisting and let the water carry you to your overflow. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't want to control the water. I don't want to make the water be still. I don't want to make it rage. I just want to relax and float and keep my head up and enjoy the raft. (laughs)
if that makes any sense so i guess what my message to you guys is don't get so hung up on what coulda shoulda woulda supposed to and all of that right because then you kind of just stay stuck and it's no if you're if you're stuck then you're not moving all right you, you could move a little bit but that that resentment is gonna cause resistance and take that from me you, you, you just you're just gonna kind of stay there things will get better but they're definitely not as gonna get as oatmeal as good as they could so let's just let go.